Now we are on page two, the address lookup page. On the top left, you'll see date and address lookup boxes. Notice our community board and date range have stayed the same from the first page since they sync up across all pages of BoardStat. To the right of the boxes, there's a tree map of the top 10 complaint types, organized by the number of requests for each complaint type. On the right of the tree map, we see the number of requests by descriptor and year all line graph view. At the bottom of the page, we see service requests in tabular data format. You will find 311 service request data with unique ID, created date, incident address, complaint type, descriptor, agency, and resolution description that falls under all the parameters you have inputted. Let's put our address from page one into the address lookup box, 165 Christopher Street. You might notice that three similar suggestions pop up. Sometimes information is put into 311 in different ways. Clicking on all of them, we can tell that the primary address is 165 Christopher Street with Christopher spelled correctly and the word street spelled out because most of the service requests have been filed under it. It's important to consider all of them, but for the sake of this demonstration, let's focus on the correct address. Now, let's focus our attention on the tree map and the line graph. The tree map is reflecting all data under our inputted parameters. The date range we set earlier, January 1st, 2010 to December 31st, 2018, and the address we're looking up. On the line graph, we have the year on the horizontal x-axis, and the y-axis is measuring number of calls. In this view, we have several functionality options available. First, let's simply put our cursor at the top of the curve in 2011. We see many different types of descriptors and their counts. Let's select a descriptor. Descriptors are color-coded so we can determine which one to click by following the color. Click on the banging, pounding descriptor, which is the same color shown in the pop-up descriptor key. After clicking on the descriptor, notice how the tabular data updates to only show banging, pounding data. The tree map also updates to our selection, highlighting the portion of the complaint types that the selected descriptor makes up. Selecting banging, pounding, we see that it is a descriptor for the most noise residential complaints made since 2010. To deselect, simply click on empty space in the dashboard. Now, let's click on loud music party. Notice how if we click to select this descriptor, the tree map changes. Now the other portion of the noise residential box is in full color, while the other is faded. Also note that half of the noise street sidewalk box is in full color, representing four service requests that are included in our overall selection. We can see this by placing our cursor over the full color boxes to find out how many service requests are included in our selection. With our selection still in effect, the tabular data on the bottom has changed to reflect that. This concludes our brief overview of page two. Please check out our video that goes more in depth about this page.